Okay, so here we are on the um, actual terminal and I'm just waiting for the PC to get going so that the video starts. Um, it should lock on at any moment, there we go. And I'll just wait for this to settle again. So there's our menu. You can see the top one uh, with the message there that I've put an indicator that it's a 64-bit kernel. Uh, perhaps should do the same for the temp system actually. I think that's 64-bit. And just a reminder that it's almost Linux from scratch 7.5, so it gives you an idea that we've gone from effectively 6.3 to Linux from scratch 7.5, but in 64-bit mode. So there it is booting. And you can see it's a successful boot, but except for this, um, right, I haven't got the GPM working. Maybe I could try and install that. But uh, if we use this cursor here, you can see this failure with the syslog daemon. So um, that happened before when I was testing this. Uh, don't really know why that has happened. So I'm going to log in and I'm going to go to the sources directory blfs blfs boot scripts and do make install I think it's sshd is it um, can't list them let me see if I can find it make sure I install the correct uh, script Yeah, install SSHD, so make install dash SSHD. So that's that one, and I'll attempt to do the one for GPM as well. Oops, GPM. Um, I think I actually for GPM, come to think of it, I think I need to put in a Uh, configuration script to configure the mouse so let me just check that yes etc says config mouse yeah there isn't one there so let me just put that in I won't put all the fancy comments in I'll just straight away put m device equals and protocol so that's imps2 and the M device is dev ps aux and it looks like they should be in double quotes if it matters so M device equals dev ps aux and protocol equals imps2 Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to reboot again and see what's happening with those scripts. Okay, so that's because it wasn't running properly. And same with SSHD. Okay, so I've got the boot menu up. I'm going to press enter now to get this booting and we'll see what happens with those startup scripts. And yes, yeah, this is the thing I had before. It seems like there's a, a file missing called init functions, which may be something that needs to be installed from um, BLFS. And the same again for the GPM. So um, I'm not sure if that's something I can quickly fix. Right, well, I've just looked at my um, Pentium Pro server, which is a, a Linux from scratch machine, and I found that file in its dash functions that's missing. And it is on the disk, but it's in a different location. So I'm going to attempt to 
download it. I've put it on the web server available to download um, and see what happens. So if I go to links, um, yeah, that should do. Let's get rid of this BLFS. Uh, there it is there. So it's either part of BLFS or it's part of Linux from scratch. Uh, let's have a look at it. No, not that. I just need to delete the stuff here that seems to come down with links. So it does actually say lib lsb and it functions and yet on the server it's in lib services and it functions so presumably it's changed at some point in its lifetime. So I'm going to move this to uh, init functions to lib lsb. Oh, in fact lsb doesn't even exist. Okay. Let's make the lib lsb and then move the init functions to lib lsb and let's try starting GPM. No, there's still something wrong with it. So there's obviously some more um, stuff that needs to be done to get this to work. Imagine SSHD is going to... Oh, that's, that's working. That's interesting. Okay, so let's fix one of the problems. So can I SSH into this? Let's go to the Pentium Pro. Why is that not working? Or why is it asking me again rather? Oh, because I'm connecting as Pentium Pro. Yeah, the, the name resolution is working. Previously I had connected using the IP address only, so that's why that's happened. Um, Yep, that's good. Now let's come back. And yes, I've got in. So it looks like the SSHD script has worked. Okay, what I'll do is I'll come back out and reboot um, in case there's any other initialization that GPM relies on. Okay, looks like it's looking for something called bin head. Oh, on the SSH server. So yeah, it looks like the, uh, in the boot up scripts are incomplete, uh, maybe for the main uh, CLFS system. It may be that just slightly different way of doing things as as the build is slightly different. Um, not only in the method to get the cross compiling working, but also in the actual structure of the system is slightly different. So it needs um, a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, again, the GPM has failed, but it's not caused any issues on the boot. Um, so once again, I'll just check that SSH is working. Yes, it appears to be. So I'll come back and yes, I'm in. So what I'm going to do now is just to finally um, modify my boot up script to remove the SSHD. There's no need for that, uh, which just leaves the GPM part of it to work where I started from with it. So I'm, I'm moving the mouse now and you can see well you can't see but it's not, it's not doing anything. So if I run the boot up and uh, the GPM is working again. So that is the end of the videos. Um, we've managed to get from a 32-bit Linux from scratch 6.3 to a 64-bit effectively a Linux from scratch 7.5 in, in actual fact it's a cross Linux from scratch 3.0.0 .0 .0. 
um, but the next time I will be using this cross Linux from scratch 3.0.0 to jump forward onto Linux from scratch again onto a newer version I don't know what version it will be I'm hoping it will be at least in the 8 series um, if not newer than that um, I don't really want to um, spend too much time building each individual major version I'd rather just jump forward ahead as far as I can a bit like I have been doing so far um, but yeah I'm hoping it's going to be no more than two or three more builds to get to the current version um, but I'll have to look into that so thank you very much for watching um, I hope you found it entertaining and useful and informative uh, give me a thumbs up if you found the videos useful and interesting and subscribe to my channel to get to hear about um, other videos that I'll be doing in the future. Thank you, goodbye.